Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news. We're going to get straight into the news around the NFL, all right? The Steelers pass rusher, um, star outside linebacker, TJ Watt has signed a four-year extension worth $120 million, $28 million um, per year with a $80 million fully guaranteed at the signing. So this is probably one of the biggest um, the highest paid defensive player in football right now. Um, I think this is just a great deal for the Pittsburgh Steelers. T.J. White is obviously um, one of the best outside linebackers um, in the league, one of the best pass rushers in the league. So um, I think this is a great deal for them. Also, um, the Ravens have definitely had their sheer rash of injuries and none worse than today. All right, They lost two guys all right they lost three guys in a matter of weeks all right we they lost jk dobbins um justice hill um and then turn around today they lost marcus peters marcus peters as well as gus edwards we lost those guys they lost those guys in the exact same day one play away from each other all right one play apart in practice Marcus Peters went down with a torn ACL, and then the very next play, Gus Edwards goes down on the same play. So, like, this is definitely one of those things when you talk about the Ravens. Um, can they get over this thing? Um, we will see, but this is absolutely, it puts a damper on whether or not these guys can contend for the championship. Um, Lamar's just going to have to really ball out this year. Um, in order for those guys to get over the hump. But let's get straight to this Atlanta Falcons news. Um, the news out of the NFL, um, the, uh, the Atlanta Falcons, um, you have the captains, all right? The captains have been named. Jake Matthews, Calvin Ridley, Deion Jones, Grady Jerry, and Matt Ryan have all been voted, all right, as the five captains for the Atlanta Falcons. I'm not surprised by any of this. Jake Matthews is obviously one of the better left tackles in the game. Calvin Ridley, the better youngest, you know, one of the better young stars. Um, I think he's going to take a, a, a incredible leap as far as being, you know, one of that fear, that fear guy. Um, obviously, he's had his issues with a little minor injuries, but for the most part, man, this dude has been consistent. He put up big time numbers, um, touchdowns. He's a touchdown machine. He's one of the best um, route runners in the NFL. Um, look, I think this is a great opportunity for him to really showcase um his skill set and his leadership all right julio jones is no longer there julio jones is no longer here to you know to throw him down all right he's not here to throw him down and for the most part you know julio jones has obviously been one of the greatest wide receivers of all time but when you talk about his you know his injuries he's not been he hasn't been able to you know stay on the field consistently year after year missed nine games last year with a hamstring um and Calvin Ridley, even when he's, you know, it seems like he's not 100%. This dude still puts up big time numbers. He gets in the end zone. So that's the most important thing when you talk about Calvin Ridley, all right? So Grady Jarrett, he missed. He was absent at practice. Um, the team is saying that it wasn't anything to do with injuries, but um, he, uh, it was a personal matter. So whatever that is, Grady Jarrett, he's not hurt. They should be fine going against the Eagles. Um, also, the biggest news of them all, Deion Jones has converted. Uh, the Falcons have converted on um, the four point uh, four point one million dollars um, of his compensation into a bonus, creating two point seven million dollars in cap space. Um, it was previously about three hundred thousand. So the Falcons are gonna get about two. They got about three million. Um, that's roughly about three million dollars that they have left as far as the salary cap is concerned. They can go out and sign a veteran, go out and sign a veteran, you know, offensive lineman or anybody at this point in time that they want to bring in to, you know, be an asset um, 
tough, whether it's the defense, offense, you know, injuries happen in the NFL. So they can go out and get a guy and, you know, feel that void. But when it all comes down to it, man, um, this is probably um, this is probably one of the most interesting uh, weekends uh, coming up for the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta Falcons fans. All right. Um, when we talk about, you know, opening day, this is where it all begins. From this point on, football is back. And Falcons have to get off to a good start against the Philadelphia Eagles or there is going to be a lot of people. All right, there's going to be a lot of people, and a lot of questions on whether or not the Falcons um, should have drafted a quarterback. Is this team, um, you know, should they rebuild? Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of questions. But if the Falcons come out and play well and they do what they have to do, right now they're their favorite, all right? Their favorite over the the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, but the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, can they get it done? I believe so. It's going to be an interesting game. Matt Ryan versus Jalen Hurts. All right, we're going to see a DMP led defense. Um, we're going to see a Arthur Smith um, offense, uh, Sereni, and we're going to see. We're going to see what these guys are capable of. This is going to be an interesting game. Win, lose, or draw, steal, Falcon for life. No matter what happens. So let me know what you guys think about this. This has been a Mad Mike Sports Update. All right. This has been a Mad Mike Sports Update. Your boy, Matt Mike, um, is at 6,000. We're trying to get this thing to 10K. You guys continue to support us here at Atlanta Falcons Nation. Please head over to Jess K Styles. All right. K Styles, six men. Six men, K Styles. All right. Head him over. Head over to his channel. Get him to 5,000. What's your boy, Matt Mike, is out, man? Peace.